So, do you ever wonder what killers you could feasibly beat in a fight? Well, me too. Actually, I got bored and I decided, you know what? Why not make a tier list? So, that's precisely what I did. However, before we dive into it, there are a few ground rules I have to cover for this tier list for everything to make sense. First rule is no weapons are allowed in this fight unless the weapon is biologically, spiritually, or physiologically a part of you, then it's fair game. So an example would be Singularity, his giant scythe, for lack of a better term, is part of him, so he gets to keep it. Second rule is this is going to be in a confined space. I'm just going to say, I don't know, let's say 20 yards by 20 yards, right? There's going to be some distance involved. It's going to be a decently large ring, but nothing crazy. And the third and final rule is they are mortal. We are in the mortal world. We are not in the entity's realm. All of these killers are feasibly killable. Unless, you know, canonically they're also immortal, then you're just kind of screwed regardless. And we are going to run into a few of those. So with all that being said, if you get, I hope you guys do enjoy the video. If you do, hit the like button, subscribe to do YouTube things, and then sit back, relax, and enjoy the video, everybody. So we are here on our tier list. I'm just going to run through all the tiers super quick. It goes as follows. GG easy. These are killers you'd have no problem dealing with. Winnable. Exactly what it sounds like. 50-50. Duh. Probably dead means if you walk in the ring with these guys, you're probably not walking out. Cooked. You're dead. Unless you are just the biggest giga chat that's ever giga chatted. You're dead. And about to be God, there is literally nothing you can do but pray. And cry. Because you are dead no matter what you do. So let's dive straight into it. First up, we have Trapper. Let's let's run through this. He has spikes coming out of his back, so that already implies superhuman levels of durability and pain resilience. Also, this man regularly walks in bear traps and doesn't feel it. And that's ignoring the fact that he's a big hulking monster. You're cooked. There's nothing you can you're done for. You I mean he is technically human, but if you punch him, he's not gonna feel a thing. So I'm gonna say you're cooked on that. Wraith. Same story as Trapper. He has superhuman strength, but he's not as durable. And canonically, this man has ripped out spines before, so honestly, that feat alone probably means he's that already means he's superhuman. So you're probably dead. Hillbilly! Cooked. Just put him in cooked. Alright, superhuman endurance. Runs real fast. Even without his chainsaw, I'm willing to bet he's still a fast sprinter. Ridiculously strong. He also doesn't really feel pain. You're cooked. Nurse! You know, honestly, Nurse is kind of frail. Her power, while like, it would definitely help her, but at the same time, there's a big drawback because she teleports at you because she doesn't have a weapon in this case. Although, well, actually, you could make an argument that her weapon is supernatural in nature, though, and she has it on her at all times. I don't really know. This kind of depends on whether you consider her weapon supernatural or not. I, I don't think it is. Like, I don't think she'd be allowed to have it. So for that reason alone, I'm going to say winnable, because whenever she teleports, say she punches you, then she has to, like, droop down on the ground for two seconds, and that's going to give you ample opportunity to just beat her up for two seconds, then she teleports away, maybe, you know, she goes looks on the ground again. Like, I feel like she's very frail, very winnable, honestly. Michael Myers! I mean, and come on. G guys. Guys, I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't need to explain that one, right? Do I need to explain that one? No, I don't think so. PAG! You know, Hag is a weird one, because her claw actually, eh, she does have claws, like her whole, like whenever she hits Survivor, she literally has claws grafted into her. You're probably dead, not to mention the fact that if you punch her, whenever you look at like, whenever she uses her power, she almost is like a goo, and whenever she hits someone, she also has like a goo coming out of her claws, so I don't even know if, like, does she feel pain if you punch her, does anything even happen? You know what, actually, I think, Hag, you're cooked. Like, I really don't think there's gonna be a whole lot you can do. She looks frail, she really does. It's kind of like a nurse situation, but she has claws, and she doesn't even appear to be, like, like, these guys all have physical forms. All of them have physical forms, but Hag just looks like she's goo. Like, if you look at the way she teleports to the trap, she's literally just goo. She can just demanifest into a pile of goo. I don't know what you're supposed to do against that. Next up, we got Doctor. Come on, come on. You're, you're gonna meet God. He just zap, yeah, dead. Nothing you can do. Huntress. Without hun hunters, without weapons, I mean, you're probably dead still. But without weapons, that's not impossible. I think you have a chance. At the end of the day, she doesn't have superhuman strength or speed or durability, but she is a survivor and a trained one at that, and that alone is probably enough to kill. 95% of people. Yeah, you're still probably dead. Bubba! 
I think Bubba, you're also probably dead. Unlike Hillbilly, all you gotta do with Bubba, if it's based on like the films, all you gotta do is rip off that mask and he like has a mental breakdown and you win. No, granted, that's not gonna be easy. And he will probably crush you into a twig first, but you at least have a chance. There is a win condition here. Unlike these three or these two, there is a win condition with this one. So I'm gonna say you're probably dead. You have a chance though, but you're probably dead. Freddy! Ugh. How do how do you how do I even rank Freddy? Because he doesn't have his claw. And without his claw, and if you're fighting him in the real world, he's just an old dude, essentially, who has honestly a pretty embarrassing track record. I mean, this is so difficult because on one hand, in the ring, this man's a chump, but if you you can't really kill him though, can you? Because if you kill him, he's just gonna reappear. I <laughs> I don't know about, what do I do with you? Because you either are about to meet God or you're gonna have the freest time of your life. I'm just gonna split the difference I picked it because I don't really know, that's such a weird interaction because obviously you're not gonna fall asleep in the ring, but like after the fight and say you beat his physical form to a pulp, does he just reappear in your dreams later and you're dead? Like, how does that work? I, I don't know, I'm just gonna put him there because I don't really know what else to do with him. Pig. Oh, that's easy. You have that. Without her weapons, she's just a, she's literally just a person with a pig mask. Her vision's obscured. She has below average strength. She has no combat prowess. Oh, this is easy. You, uh, come on. Yeah, you would be able to kill pig. No problem. I don't think that'd be hard at all. Clown. No weapons, no tonic. And that's 50-50. Then again, he does have a giant meat shield. But on the other hand, if you punch him, it's just gonna, the shock is just gonna be absorbed. Like, what are you gonna do? I mean, you can punch him in the face, obviously, but I don't think that'd be an easy fight. I really do not think that'd be easy, but I think that's very, that's 50-50. It's really gonna depend because, on you know, he can take a lot of hits, but on the other hand, honestly, if you just dodge like three of his punches, he'd probably die of cardiac arrest because his heart would give out on him. I'm just gonna say 50-50 on that one. Spirit. Well, let's see here. Her weapon is grafted into her skin, so she gets to keep it. She has a katana, and she can demanifest, and she's superhuman. Yeah, you're dead. There's, there's nothing. I don't, I don't think you're quite on this level, but you're, you're cooked. You were absolutely cooked. Legion. Okay, are we, are we fighting one? I should probably should answer this. Are we fighting one or four? Because if we're fighting one, this is GG easy. If we're fighting four of them, you're cooked. I. I don't know. I mean, his powers, and actually, I probably, and actually his powers even come into play here because it literally is just running slightly faster. I, I don't know. I'm going to say winnable. I, I, if it's all four of them, you're probably cooked. You're absolutely cooked. If it's just the one, that's very winnable or GG easy. I'm just going to say winnable. I'm just going to say winnable. I don't think I don't think it's all four of them. I think you're just fighting one at a time. So I'm going to say winnable. Plague. Now, I am of the belief that plagues, you know, plague is enhanced by the entity, so it would, in fact, affect modern humans. Like, it's not like, you know, she'd come in the ring and you kill her due to, like, bacteria. I think the entity has blessed her in that regard. So I think you're cooked. I don't think there's going to be a lot you can do against her. I think if she spits on you, you will literally die. I mean, there's nothing else to say there. Okay, moving on to Ghostface. You know... That's winnable. That's very winnable. Without his knife, without his... Like, out in the wild, this guy would be a problem. This guy would be an absolute demon. But this is in the ring. He doesn't have a weapon, and his mask obscures his vision. He has no, like, superhuman strength, no superhuman... He's just a guy. With no weapon, and obscured vision. That might actually be GG easy. I, I, I'm gonna say GG easy, actually. I think out of everyone, I think he'd be very easy to deal with in this specific scenario. Like I said, if we were out in the wild, this guy would be a problem. But in the ring, not a problem. Okay. Well, yeah, that. Nah, that's way to humble me real quick. Yeah, Demogorgon. What are you gonna do against him? You punch him, he, he bites your arm off. You kick him, you just lose a leg, and you can't damage him. You stand no chance. None. There is nothing you can do if Demogorgon wants you dead. Pony, I mean, see, his katana is a weapon, so he doesn't get to keep that, but his armor, that looks like it's spiritually a part of him. Like, when you see him run around, like, he has, I, 
His armor's part of him, right? Like, I feel like that's what Oni is. I'm just gonna say you're probably about to meet God. Even without the armor, he's still gonna, you know, crush you into a million pieces. Deathslinger. Okay, no gun. He's crippled, old. I actually think that's very winnable. I don't think it's quite GG easy because he is a bounty hunter, but he's also crippled. So that's a huge advantage for you. I think you'd have no problem outmaneuvering him. He has no weapons, so he doesn't really have that option. And he doesn't see, he seems kind of frail. I don't think you'd have a problem dispatching him. Pyramid head. Hey, yeah, you're going up there. What are you gonna do against Pyramid head? Hmm? What's the plan? You punch him? Punch him in the giant metal cone? Yeah, that's gonna go well. I'm sure he'll vaguely appreciate it, and then he'll send you to another dimension. Good luck with that. Blight. What do we do with Blight? I mean, okay. His whole, you know, Blighted Serum, it's all it's basically just a steroid that turned him into a monster. Superhuman speed. Insane pain resistance. And the same stand. I mean, if you knock him down, he's just going to get right back up and he's just going to clobber you in the face. You're cooked. I really don't think there's going to be a lot you can do against Blight. Twins! Ooh, here's an interesting one. Because if we're basing this based on lore twins, then Charlotte and Victor can fight you at the same time. But if we're basing this, basing this based on gameplay, only one of them can fight you at a time. And if that's the case, it's winnable. But if you have to deal with both of them at the same time, you're probably dead. I mean, Charlotte does, I mean, neither of them have any combat. None of them, they're not superhumanly strong or fast, but there is two of them. And Victor, while not a major threat, would be very much annoying. And I feel like he could absolutely keep you busy while Charlotte just absolutely just pins you into, just hammers you into the ground. I don't think it'd be, I, maybe 50-50. Cause at the end of the day, I mean, Victor, you could probably just punt him. I don't think he'd be very hard to kill. Charlotte, uh, it's a little bit more iffy. That's that. I think that's 50. I think 50 50 is fair. Trickster, 50 50. I mean, he's a performer, so he has the stamina going for him, but he doesn't have superhuman strength. He has no combat, nothing. He's just slightly more. He has slightly more stamina than the average person. I think you could beat Trickster feasibly. I don't, yeah, that's right, Freddy. I, I was like, why is Freddy here? But yeah, I Freddy don't know what the deal with Freddy is. Nemesis. Okay, if you think you can beat Nemesis in a fight, I'd love for you to comment and justify how you can beat Nemesis. I, I'm genuinely curious. How exactly do you plan on beating Nemesis? Because I would love to meet you. But, you know, for me and 99.9% .9 of people who have common sense, I'm going to say that you're dead. You're about to meet your god. If you run into Nemesis, he's just going to punch you once, and you're going to explode. Jack, you can do about it. Cenobite! <laughs> He's a hell priest. What what are you gonna do against that? Punch him? He's probably gonna laugh and enjoy it. He's gonna be like, huh, thanks, man. That was great. He's gonna be thrilled. This whole situation, he'd just be like, I right, bro, I'm just gonna, you know, I'm just gonna show you some things. Many sights to show you. And then that's it. You're dead. I don't think there's any there's not any debate on that one. Artist! Ah yeah, her ink is a weapon, and it's part of her. I mean, she literally can form whatever weapon she wants out of her hands. Not to mention the fact that if you punch her, she's just going to turn into ink. I don't... That's, you're not winning that. I'm sorry. It's not happening. Okay, Onryo. Uh-huh. Yeah, okay. Sure. Even ignoring the fact that she can kill you instantly just by looking at you, she can de-manifest you. You can't even hit her. And she has supernatural powers. I, I, I don't think there's anything you can do. Dredge, get, get out of here. You're, you're about to meet your god. If you, if you run to Dredge, what are you going to do? Run away? He'll find you. If you try and punch him, he's just going to eat you. Like, there's nothing you can do against Dredge. I'm sorry. It ain't happening. Wesker! Ouroboros, that's part of him. So, he is literally a living weapon. Not to mention he's fast enough to dodge bullets and has superhuman strength, durability, and all that fun stuff. Cooked. Nothing you can do. Knight. Ooh. Ooh, this is an interesting one. Because Knight... Would Knight be allowed? Obviously, he wouldn't be allowed his sword. But his armor... Like, is he like a zombie in there? So is the armor part of him? Or like, is it just a weapon? And is there an extension of himself? I don't know. Then again, even without armor, you're probably dead. 
Actually, with, oh, I didn't, I didn't even account for the guards. With the guards, you're cooked. Yeah, no, you're cooked. Not to mention he has a combat experience of killing hundreds of people, so... Yeah, you're dead. I don't think there's anything. You're cooked. There's nothing you can do about that. Skull Merchant? With no weapons? No tech? Pfft, okay. Sure, you, you've never won a fair fight a day in your life. Get out of here. You're the, probably... Out of everyone here, you are... Actually, no, right now, Pig's probably the easiest. But you are very close to being the easiest person to deal with out of everyone on this list. I could take Skull Merchant in a fight. You could take Skull Merchant in a fight. Anyone over the age of 10 could take Skull Merchant in a fight, okay? I don't want to hear it. Singularity. I mean, wait. He dispatched an entire space crew by himself, including robots, by himself. You punch him, he's made of metal. He has superhuman reaction speed, like computer level reaction speed. So you're done for. There's nothing you can do. Not to mention that the guy may or may not be radioactive, so... Yeah, yeah, you're dead. There's, there's not, you're cooked. There's nothing you can do. Xenomorph. Yeah. No. I don't, I don't think it's quite as bad as these guys, but it's not good. <laughs> it's not quite as bad as them, but yeah, you're not having a good day if you run into a Xenomorph. You're, you're done. Chucky. No knife. Uh, hello. That's easy. That'll be no problem. I'll just punch him across the ring. It'll be so easy. It'd be so easy to dispatch Chucky. Anyone could do it. Literally anyone. That's you're done. Just send a dog after him. He's dead. Get out of here. Unknown. I, I mean, we don't really know a lot about unknown for obvious reasons, but you're probably cooked, right? I mean, he doesn't. He has an axe. I well, is that a weapon or is that part? No, that's a weapon, I guess. But he does have UVX, which also kills you. And honestly, he. Hey, I don't know what's going on though. No, no, I just know you're not killing it. I know you're caught. Vecna, he has an army of the damned. And have you seen that Mori? Oh my god, it's brutal. Not to mention that he has, a, he's like power wise, he's probably one of the most powerful killers in the realm too. So I'm just gonna go. I'm mean, you're gonna, if you run to Vecna, you're probably gonna meet God. Even though in game, the only offensive spell he has that would be remotely helpful would be the Flood of the Damned, which is in game very easy to dodge, but. I have a feeling Vecna has a lot of other tricks up his sleeve, not to mention that his knife seems magical in nature, and thus I'm pretty sure he could just summon it at will if he really wanted to, so I'm gonna say you're about to meet God. So that concludes my little tier list, and honestly, yeah, this is this is pretty humbling. Like You'd lose to like 90% of the cast here, <laughs> which makes sense, you know, that tracks. And if you disagree, feel free to comment, and if you agree with me, feel free to subscribe. Actually, don't no, change that around because I want more subscribers. Anyway, look, just go hit the like button, subscribe, do the YouTube things, and that note, stay strong, stay clear. Spitfire out.